morning, you guys. Happy Monday morning. I'm whispering because I think Max and Brody are still asleep up there. And I'm so excited. This is early for me. I woke up at 6.45 just because the sun was shining. It was so bright in our room. I am just so grateful for my sunny mornings that get me out of bed. It's going to be the nicest day the next couple days. And I am that girl that gets all excited about the weather. But, like, I actually am so excited. And I was just journaling this morning, my little gratitude journal. I was like, I'm so grateful for my sunny mornings. A second for me in the morning. If you guys listen to my episode on Tori Day Simone's podcast, her manifest podcast, I'm talking about I always have a moment for me in the morning. It makes me way less stressed and overwhelmed during the day. So I've loved ever since I started doing that. Now I'm going to go to... Uh, Max's sister's bar class or 7.30 class. Lizzie's gonna do it with me. It's on Zoom. And so we're like, we should have like a bar date during the week. Like Mondays, Fridays, whatever dates we want to do. We have like a workout for us sissies in the morning, even if it's over Zoom. So that's fine. I'm gonna head up, get all set up. Good morning. Guys, Brody is literally waiting for me outside right now. He's so excited. And I guess I'm just feeling very motivated today because I told him I would bring him on a little run. Usually doesn't make it more than like a mile. So I kind of feel like doing two, just like a quick something. I already had my bar, but it's just so sunny and nice out that I feel like going for a run. And yeah, maybe I'll drop him off after a mile. <sighs> yeah, he's literally waiting in the grass out there for me. Okay, also this is my own dang fault, you guys. I let my freaking Garmin die, which I never do because the battery lasts literally two weeks and I got lazy and let it die. So I literally just plugged it in for like 10 minutes. Sorry, I'm just watching Brody out there. He literally just sunbathed in the grass, lays there as cars go by. <laughs> Yeah, with a music cat. Anyway, um, I got lazy and then it was dead this morning and I was like, no, I want to work during bar. My one complaint, this is like such a niche, just me problem, but I wear a lot of bracelets. And so with the watch and the bracelets, when I do the Bala arm weights, I have like a very heavy full <laughs> wrist. Does anyone else have that problem if you wear a Garmin watch, Apple watch, whatever, and then do like the Bala arm weights? I'm like, wait, where does the watch go below the weight, over the weight, whatever. So I literally plugged in for like 10 minutes already at 15 because I like to wear this for my workouts, but especially running, I feel like I need this to like, keep on track and know how fast I'm going or whatever. So yes, I'm so happy I charged that up a little bit because we're gonna head out. Without further ado, let's go before I procrastinate anymore. Road to heel. <laughs> Someone's slowing me down, huh? <laughs> you can do it, bud. Who's picking up peace? Good job. <laughs> Brody, come on. Go on. Go on. Now I'm free. <laughs> we did it. Why am I so tired? Ooh. Of course I run into like all my neighbors as I'm like dripping in sweat. I'm like, morning. Brody, do you want to tell them how much you slowed me down? Yeah? You put on a runner. That's <laughs> <sighs> oh, That felt really good. What did you do? I think I can guess. No, I bet you can't. Is it a coffee? Yeah, but a special. <gasps> do you use the new stuff I got? <gasps> I've been wanting to do that. How'd you know how to do? I looked up Bridget's thing. <laughs> no, you didn't. You guys. 
That is so cute of you. I, wait, are you kidding me? That I gotta take a good. picture, it's beautiful. Oh my God, you read my mind because yesterday I got the cookie dough creamer and the cold foam in the can. I can't believe you looked it up in, um, cause I've been wanting to try the coffee that Bridget always makes. I'm like, enough is enough. This looks delicious. Every time she posts it on TikTok, like I need to get the stuff to try it. You looked up the TikTok to make it for me? That is the sweetest thing. Scroll. I know, she's done a bunch of them now. Cause now she's trying different ones. Did you see yeah. the one that she did cereal milk yeah, latte? That's sweet. Crazy. You don't know if you like it. We should try it. We should try all her. This looks amazing. Thank you, honey. I gotta take a picture of it first. Wow. What a morning. Let's get my first reaction. They can barely see the top of my head. Oh, my legs are just going like this. Good. Wait, I'm not even kidding. This is like delicious. <laughs> this tastes like a coffee shop. This tastes better than. I'm not kidding. Whoa! It's that cookie dough creamer. <laughs> this is like the afternoon dessert coffee. You're scaring me. I'm here. It's really, really good. Wow! No, I'm not even like being dramatic. Like that was my genuine no, it reaction. Is. It is very good. It's gonna give me a stomach ache. But yeah. <laughs> like you could just do a little less of the cookie dough. I thought I did. I barely. Used I it. know those creamers are sweet. You have to do like a drop. Uh -huh. Okay, delish. All right, my mom and sister were here this weekend, so I have to do the bedding. Wash all bedding for our two guest rooms, which reminds me, I kind of want this vlog to be a little bit of getting my life together, deep cleaning. I guess the deep cleaning starts here since in two nights, I have three people staying here. So I wonder if they'll, they could do the day bed on the third floor and then these two rooms, or they could do the two girls and the guy, whatever. Neither here nor there, <laughs> I'll fill you in. So we gotta wash all of it. This. So let's start stripping this bed. But also what I've been wanting to do, I feel like I said this in a recent vlog, is I really want to deep clean our couch. Not deep clean, I guess deep clean. <laughs> like take all the covers off and put them in the washer and dryer because I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it gets like eh after a while. And like so many people are on it and multiple dogs and you know so we haven't done that in a while and I feel like we're a little bit overdue for that yeah so I feel like kind of going ham cleaning today doing all of the bedding we just did our bedding so I think that's okay and I know we did the day bed on the third floor so that's all clean these two guest rooms the couch also we've never like washed our washer and dryer which I know might sound crazy but I feel like I've seen TikToks and reels that you're supposed to wash your washer and dryer because I feel like they get icky and I don't really know how to do that maybe I should look up a video because I just feel like our washer the rubber part all around the edge it gets like and there's like build up in there and I'm like kind of scared to do it but it probably should be done so it's kind of what I want to do today but also I got up early and got after it because it's gonna be so sunny and beautiful and I really wanted to bang on all the stuff I have to do or at least like start this laundry you know I can always like finish it later so that I can lay in the sun because that just makes me so happy if I can take a break. Middle of the day, lay in the sun, read a little, listen to a podcast. So, yes. Alright, now we just gotta do this one too. listening to my favorite podcast what we said not my butt cheeks being <laughs> okay that's enough of that see inside <laughs> 
I had the best afternoon laying in the sun, as you guys saw. And I just showered. I feel like I've been wearing this Elwood long sleeve like every day of my life been loving this love their short sleeves too anyway this is like my everyday <laughs> just throw on comfy t-shirt and shorts but i really hope you can't see what time it is right now this is terrible that i haven't eaten lunch yet because i'm like ravenous and about to eat my arm but this is what happens when you like fall asleep playing in the sun all afternoon you sleep through lunch so i am about to have a very late lunch this factory meal please don't look at our fridge is like <laughs> So messy right now but i'm so excited because i actually haven't had this one before this is the three bean vegan chili yum i'm so excited right now i actually have gotten my mom onto factor and she loves their meals she's so cute i wish i showed you guys when she just came here <laughs> i'm not even kidding you guys she literally cut out the names on the back of the box and wrote me a review on them so that she would remember any <laughs> of the different recipes she had remember so cute so she showed me that but anyway thank you so much factor for sponsoring this video i love my factor meals so much they're just so convenient for lunch like that was my main thing whenever i first found factor i'm like i need a solution for lunch here because i will just be like running around willy nilly all day long never make time for lunch so that's why i love them so much they are fresh never frozen dietitian approved meals you literally poke some holes in them like this oh i think this one sometimes if there's a sauce like this, you just take it out before you put it in the microwave. But literally, pop this in the microwave for two minutes, you guys. There you go. And it'll be ready in a jiff. Thank goodness, because I'm starved. And especially for the summertime, you can get out to basking in the sun quicker if you have a quick little lunch option with Factor. So we love that. So I'm gonna let this cook and then I'll show you guys. Oh, I also grabbed these too because I wanted to show you. They also have breakfast options and like shakes and juices as well that you can add on. This one looks so good. I haven't even tried this one yet. Chocolate brownie. That looks new. Yeah, it is new, but it looks really good. Strawberry. Yeah, you always like the bagel ones and the strawberry ones and the cold pressed juice. Yum. You know what? I'm gonna drink this right now because I'm hungry while I wait. It's gonna be so good. My mom and I had the beet one the other day. Oh, this is so good. I need to mix in a green. <laughs> Look how good this looks right now. I'm just letting it cool for a sec before I scarf it down. And if you aren't about to scarf it down like me because you're so hungry, you can take a moment and like plate it on another plate. Whenever I do that, I feel very fancy and like it's a homemade meal, but I honestly don't mind eating it out of container either. It's just like so quick and easy. While she was cooking and cooling, I've literally been chugging my juice. It's so good. And this apple kale wheatgrass, it just tastes a lot like apple juice and it's really cold and just hitting the spot right now. Wow, okay. That went quick. I must have been thirsty. <laughs> but if you guys haven't tried Factor before, I highly recommend. Like I said, it's just been so convenient for me. I order them mainly for lunches and I've gotten my mom onto them for lunches and dinner, especially because since she lives alone, like if you're alone a lot for lunch or dinner, I just feel like they're so convenient. She's just like me. We'll just like run around really nilly during the day, snack here and there. Feel so much better if I actually sit down and like eat a lunch. Feel way better <laughs> throughout the rest of the day. So if you guys want to try out Factor, I'll then link down below in the description or you can head to factor75.com and use my code Gretchen50 for 50% 50 off your first month and you'll actually get 20% off your following month of orders. Again, that's factor75.com. Use my code Gretchen50 for 50% off your first month and then 20% off the following month. Now I'm going to dig in. She's had her moment to cool off something else about me you guys it's like cornbread is like one of my favorite things like actually one of my favorite meals mm. yeah. this is so good you might need a bite actually you would hate it <laughs> mm. let's try the cornbread Ooh, no it'd be good with that what a chip you're gonna get a chip oh yeah it would be Ooh. <laughs> my memory card keeps being full. I need to clear her out, but I'm gonna eat my lunch or Max is gonna <laughs> steal it all. Maybe I'll take the rest of it. <gasps> Absolutely not. I will fight you for it. <laughs> She's so hungry. Um, yes, I'm gonna eat my lunch and then we're about to go finish making up the beds since all those sheets are clean and dry now.
bag number one, done. Why is making the bed always like tiring? Bedroom number two complete. Thank you for your help, honey. You guys, good thing right after we just made up the beds, Max was like, wait a minute, we never grabbed your car. And I was like, oh my gosh, I literally forgot about my car. Poor Coco. She was in last week for service, if you guys remember. And then it was honestly kind of nice that she wasn't here this weekend, taking up space in our driveway since my mom and sister were here for the weekend. But I was like, oh yeah, I'll go get her on Saturday. Completely forgot, because they were here. Yesterday they were closed, and today's Monday, and I was like, oh my gosh, we have to go right now before they close. So, got my car. Sorry, I forgot about you, girl. It was like covered. I just took this off the driver's seat. Why was it covered in plastic? I don't know. Maybe they do that when they do service. This is my little tag up on the thing. Coco is sick. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Now she's better. Oh, I gotta take it off of this thing, too. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, this lighting is like not good in this moment. This is so funny how they, uh, look how they spelled my last name. Okay. Gehretti. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, but basically, if you guys remember, I'm dragging this on, but when the check engine light came on, I was like, everyone pray it's not that expensive. Of course it is. It always is with this car. Like, I, it's like a love-hate, me and Coco, because I love her. I can't imagine myself in any other car. Maybe eventually I'll just get like a newer one. Of an X3, X5, X7, something, because I'm just like attached, and I really love her. But every time she needs service, it's so freaking expensive. I'm like, oh, it'll be something minor. They're like, no, it's like this weird switch, something, something. Then it was like a high tech name. I didn't know that has to do with your engine. Guys, I'm not even telling you how much it was. So much money. And they're like, oh, also, mm, this is like minor, but it didn't like sound minor. They're like, you have like a slight oil <laughs> leak and something else. And like, we should fix that too. And that's like another, you know. I'm like, so our prayers did not work because it was quite expensive. But got her back. That's good. I literally forget about her because we don't ever drive her. Like, I barely ever drive her anymore ever since Max got his car. He's just obsessed with A, being in his car and B, driving. So he like offers to drive me anywhere, drive us anywhere. I feel like before in his other car, our car's like the same size so we would like equally drive here and there. But now, like his car is more comfy and nicer and newer and more room for us all. So we just always take that and he will always drive because he just loves it. So, yeah. Back with Coco. Missed you, sister. Brody, is it way too much if I decide we should clean the couch? Do you want to help me clean the couch? Would you like to help? Okay, let's do it. I thought about it. I wanted to do it. We can do it. Here we go. It's been a minute since we've done this. It's kind of an undertaking. I can do it in like two rows. What do you say? Don't mind the hockey going on behind me. But I'm so glad we washed and dried and put back together the couch. It looks so much better, fluff and fresh and clean. Max says he hates putting it back together. It's the worst thing ever. It is. 
<laughs> wow. I didn't think I'd hear you say that. No, it really wasn't that bad. It went by quick. And your fingers kind of hurt like shoving the pillows back into the cases, but so worth it. Okay, you guys, it's the next day. I have not filmed all morning, sorry. But I do feel like this vlog is getting long and so I'm trying not to make it too long. But as you can see, I have been saving up some packages to open because I figured we could open them together. I'm gonna try not to show my address here. Uh, yeah, I believe all of this is PR that has been sent to me. So I wanted to do a little PR unboxing haul. I think I do that from time to time, but I never want to annoy you guys. Then sometimes you guys are like, no, please show, we want to see. So yeah, one thing I actually opened right away was this from this brand, 1111. I don't know if I have anything, had anything from them before. I think they do that caviar, cow, sorry, I feel like I have a Brody here my mouth or a me here you know that caviar cowboy hat you know that hat i've been seeing it everywhere i think that's the brand 1111 anyway they sent these boxer shorts over guys i literally hang on i feel like i have more brody here than I have. okay sorry that's the worst feeling what i'm trying to spit out is i don't think i've had anything from 1111 before i think it's that caviar cowboy brand they sent over these boxer shorts and so i ripped open the package and immediately put them on and i have been wearing these all day they're the best these white little boxer shorts and then it looks like they sent this like funky fun pink and white and red hair as well how fun for the summer i love that i love this boxer short trend and i'm so excited to wear these these are like so summery for over a bathing suit yes so thank you 11 11 i love those and these are just so good they're so comfy. I wore this to lunch today. Boys don't get it. Max is like, those look like my underpants. And I'm like, oh, that's such a boy thing to say. You don't get the trend. It's not for you. And maybe some people don't like the box short trend, but I love it because it's just like comfy, fun. So anyway, next up, other package I ripped open. This is so exciting from Skims. If you guys didn't know, I have worked with Skims here and there. On YouTube mainly for their underwear and bras but how I actually first not how I first found skims everyone knew of skims obviously the first piece I ever bought in skims was this style of t-shirt so this is so exciting because I always worked them for the bras and honey's like I was saying but I have a video coming this is not sponsored them but I have a video coming up with them about their cotton jersey tees and I'm like are you guys kidding me like when they asked me to I was like ah, this is literally the most fitting thing the most like exciting partnership ever because that's the style of t-shirt that I actually wear like every single day from them oh my gosh I'm so excited I did not have this blue color it's just like so stretchy and soft literally the best t-shirt ever I was all excited because I got to meet some of the skins skims team yesterday we had a phone call and I was like I just have to tell you guys like I'm literally your number one fan and whenever I first made my first purchase on skims it was a black short sleeve fits everybody tee it's actually the only tee i was telling them in my closet that i purchased again like six months later because i was like Ugh, i'm wearing this every day it's always in the wash i want to wear it but it's dirty or whatever so i literally have two of this because it's just the best t-shirt ever anyway soft stretchy love them so i got this color we're fun the collab we're doing and then also i have the white short sleeve but not the long sleeve. They're like, what colors do you want us to send over? And I'm like, well, I have like all of them already, mostly. <laughs> like I, I should give you guys a full collection of these because it's like my shirt I'm wearing all the time. And I was saying to them, people always love like a good basic because I wear them constantly. And I'm always shocked that people are like, I know this sounds so dumb. Can you please link that white t-shirt? It just looks like such a good fit. And I'm like, that is so true. Like a white t-shirt seems so basic, but like the fit and the material and the stretch and the how long the sleeves are, everything just kind of makes a difference and matters. And yeah, anyway, so I got a white long sleeve. I was saying it was going to be quick. I'm chatting so much about every single thing. I kind of like this shirt I wear every day. This is not skims. This is cuts. Also another fave t-shirt of mine. You know, they all have different purposes. They all have different rhymes and reasons. This one's like a little more fitting, cropped to go with the little boxer shorts I told you just got. Anyway, that's all very exciting. Then, daily drills. I never gotten anything from them before either. I was so excited. I swear you guys, oh, I like manifest a lot of this into my life or just attract it into my life. You might think I'm crazy, but like literally I was telling my sister how before Coachella traveling there, I went on Daily Drill's website because I was trying to buy a set. I'm like, that'll be such a good travel set. Everything was sold out and I was so sad about it. And I'm like, oh, I've like never been able to work with them or never got anything from them. And I just really want to be able to purchase from them, but I can't, everything's sold out, whatever. And then they reached out to me and I'm like, 
I'm like, are you guys kidding me? Because I actually tried to buy a set, but you were all sold out of everything. But I'm so excited right now. I got this white, like thermal kind of set. Flowy white pants. See, sizing for them is hard. These are looking a little big, but I don't care. I just want it to be flowy and comfy because they have extra small, small, and medium large. I think I got both in the medium large because I'm like, I'd rather it be big and comfy than like feel tight in any way. But I want to say their stuff is like oversized to begin with, perhaps. Maybe I should have gotten this smaller size. But you know, that's okay. Again, I'd always rather something be a little too big, a little too small, you know, I just like hate being uncomfy. This looks perfect. Again, the same like thermal white. All. I love their little logo. Oh, I'm hitting the light right there. Their little like branded like patch. That's so cute. I can't wait to wear this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna like try that on immediately. I'm so excited. I, I mean, you guys know, but I just have to say how freaking grateful I am to work with all the brands I get to work with. Gifting from some of my favorite brands that I have like been a customer for from years. Like whenever I first got to work with Skims, I'm like, wait, like me? What? Are you sure? <laughs> really? <laughs> like, I am your number one fan. Um, another one. Nudes. So exciting. Also, some of my favorite bodysuits I have been wearing recently are from Nudes. Honestly, am I allowed to say this? Is this the sponsor? I am. Nudes kind of reminds me of Skims, just like really high quality, basic pieces. So that's why I've been loving them. <sighs> yeah. I have this stretchy, like thin strap. See, this is stretchy too. It's so comfy. Bodysuit in white, and I've been wearing it constantly. So I got it in black. I want to say different things I get different sizes from. For nudes, those skim shirts, I know I got a small. Some of them might have been a medium. These nudes pieces, I've been in a small. Like bodysuits, I'll usually get a small because I want them to be snug, you know? Then other stuff, I want it to be looser. I'll get like a medium or whatever. This is a small. Oh, this looks so perfect. Black, long sleeve. Is the lighting good? Can you even see? Kind of square neck bodysuit. I have one like this from Ritzy that's years old and I wear it like every day in the fall and winter. So like, maybe I should get a fresh one of those. That thing has seen better days. Then last but not least, we, I am so excited right now. Mike Gretchen, are you going to wear this? Do you need this? Whoa, I'm so excited. Okay, this is like a gray knit set flowy knit gray pants i'm freaking out because this material is so good this feels like cashmere this is so soft and little gray top pants to go with wow i am so excited to wear this okay wow i'm packing this to come to nantucket with me that is gonna be my cozy little set Ooh, i'm so excited okay where do we go next let's do these because i am so excited right now okay another thing i think i literally manifested i was looking on the Mackenzie Child website so often and looking at inspo of all their pieces. They have like the best home stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen or if you haven't, you definitely recognize it from somewhere. I don't know. I feel like their teapots, their tea kettles are just like iconic. Like the checkered, it's just iconic. And so they reached out and we're like, want anything? And I'm like, mm, let me think. Yes. Are you kidding me? So excited. Did I finish my thought earlier? how grateful I am to do what I do. And yeah, getting gifting or collaborations of any kind for my favorite brands, I'm just always like speechless. I'm always like, wait, why me though? <laughs> like, are you sure? That's how I feel every time. Even though I've done social media for like 12 years now, I'm still like, doesn't really feel real sometimes. I'm like, wait, pinch me. Like I'm like nervous talking to Skims people. I'm like, I love you. <laughs> You know? Anyway. Okay, this is so exciting. Can you guys tell what's gonna go in here? If you can't, I'll tell you. This is so perfect, I literally can't. I was like, this will go so well with our kitchen. Look at the vibes, this is giving Cape Cod. And I wanna put it right here. Look at that! And we're gonna put brownie treats in it. Ooh. I actually need to fill this up like immediately with treats. I've always thought about how illegal it is that we don't have like a little canister of treats for Brody in this kitchen because I just feel like that would be so fun. And then when people are over and they're like, can I give him a treat, can I, whatever. It's like, there you go. They can see him, like I'll fill this up with little treats. Okay, I'm actually so excited. We are doing that ASAP. Hey, they sent over a couple things. I'm so oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Actually, you know how I first found out about Mackenzie Child? I remember specifically, like a year and a half ago when I first started looking at houses down here on the Cape, there was this one that was so beautiful and it was like this new build. And I remember looking at the kitchen and they had this gorgeous black and white checker tea kettle. And I'm like, what the heck is that? That is beautiful and looks fancy. I need that in my life. And I remember looking it up and finding Mackenzie Childs and being like obsessed from there on out. I also feel like it's such a big like wedding registry brand. Whenever we've been working on our wedding registry, woo, there's like so much Mackenzie Childs like kitchen, home stuff. Look at her. I am so excited right now. If you could tell, 
the blue, gray, and white checker. It's definitely my favorite. I just felt like it was so cape, summer, beachy, like went with our kitchen. And I chickened out because at first I'm like, do I need that black and white? And I'm like, oh, that's like very harsh. And here we don't have that much like black and white. So I just did this. But they also have like a pink and white, a black and white. Oh, these are so pretty. I need to take like the most gorgeous photo of all my little pieces from them for an Instagram story. I am so excited. This is like Christmas morning. I'm so excited that I saved all of this to open at once. This is such a fun, joyful part about what I do. Like, lucky me. Ah, I'm getting the whole collection here. <laughs> we got a little colander, same. Family of design, as you can see. I just thought that would be so cute to put my berries in there, rinse them off. Oh, guess you, guess you guys, I bet you guys can't guess what print this is gonna be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I am so excited. <laughs> Literally got the whole collection of this print. They actually have so many like kitchen pieces on their website. So there's a lot more than this. This is just like a baking pan. I don't think we had a good 13 by nine. I want to say that's what size this is. And this is just like nostalgic to me. I feel like our mom growing up would cook everything in this pan size. And I actually stole her glass 13 by nine at one point. And she called me like, the next day and was like, where's my pan? <laughs> anyway, so now I have one of my own. And I don't have to steal yours, mama. <laughs> okay, battery's dying. Last but not least, Summer Essentials delivered Mara Crown Affair. I don't know if I know this brand, Mara Crown Affair. Okay, so maybe this is like, so I do know Crown Affair. I have went to their hair stuff and love it. Maybe this is other products from them. Oh yeah, it looks like it, okay. Texturizing air dry mousse, ooh, love that. I love their like finishing cream gel stuff. I'll do like slick backs with that. Air dry mousse, ooh, love. I also do their hair towel and their little comb. I just love Crown Affair. Their stuff is like so nice. Mara Vitamin C Serum, Sunscreen Serum, SPF 30, love. I've been doing like all the SPF lately because they've been out in the sun so much. <gasps> is this another one of their little combs? Oh, we love, these are the best. Literally like a year ago, last summer when I started my hair care journey, I only started using wide tooth combs because we'll see better. It literally has been a year and I'm like, do I notice a difference from using a high tooth comb? But I mean, it probably is better. Wait, this is so cute and so, are you kidding me? In summer, Gachelle, wait, I'm literally putting this on right now. This is so cute, are you kidding me? With all my other bracelets? Okay, love, wow. And then we've got Sea Silk Lip Balm. You never have enough of these little toiletry bags. Wow, thank you everyone literally christmas morning as i said that was so much fun okay wait i'm now thinking that this might be an anklet because it's really big on my wrist my wrists aren't that small okay this must be an anklet but so cute such a summer vibe <laughs> Please, you guys, the way I'm laughing so hard right now, this anklet bracelet mystery that I don't know is like skin tight on my ankle. So either it's too small of an anklet for me or too big of a bracelet. I cannot tell. <laughs> can you see me back here? I think you can. To conclude my deep clean. I'm like sweating. I need to pull my hair back. Okay, hopefully that helps a little. I'm gonna start with the counters and then I think I'm gonna vacuum everywhere and I'm gonna feel so much better. Okay, here we go. laughing because you guys probably don't even know about this picture <laughs> this was a gift to us for Christmas for the bathroom down here and it's one of our most favorite things Chase's boyfriend took a picture of Brody doing a number two and gifted us this beautiful framed photo of him for our bathroom <laughs>
You guys, I'm feeling disheveled. My hair is like coming out. I feel like I'm literally dripping in sweat. I didn't want to shower again, but I'm going to have to. Took off my bra. I was like, I'm so uncomfortable. I always interest me how hot and sweaty I'm going to get from vacuuming. Just like honestly kind of embarrassing. I didn't even have anywhere to like set up my camera just now to show you. I vacuumed the stairs. That's when I really was sweating. Stairs always get so bad, especially with Brody hair everywhere. And I feel like they are bad again like the next day. But whew, I'm feeling better that I did that. They look... Too much better. Thought that was you. Oh, yep. There goes all the Brody fur on the stairs again. <laughs> okay, running out of spots to set you guys up, but still, get the vibe. I'm literally like, Lucy calls this me flying around on my broomstick. <laughs> I don't know why. She's like, you're always flying around in your broomstick doing a hundred things at once, cleaning like crazy. Here I am. <laughs> I'm literally putting you guys on a tissue box because I have like nowhere else to put you in front of this room. Sorry. All right, there's a lot of clothes on this guest bedrooms bed so here just look at the floor <laughs> Cleaning is seriously so tiring, but so worth it. After knowing that our counters are all clean, the floor in here gets so gross because I feel like I shed so much. Also, this was really gross of me. I spilled an eyeshadow. Not gross, just like I'm so lazy and messy. I spilled an eyeshadow on here and I just let it sit there for the last like day. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to vacuum soon. I'll get to it. <laughs> like Gretchen. It's tiring, but it is quicker than you think. And like so worth it. I'm so glad that I'm just forcing myself right now to like clean every surface of this house. <laughs> Although I don't think I've ever looked more disheveled, ever. <laughs> you guys, I just told myself, I'm just gonna bring the vacuum up here and leave it up here like I'm done. And now I've gaslit myself into doing this. I'm like, I gotta do it. And it's so small up here, like it'll be quick. Oh, I need a nice water. <laughs> is anyone else as dramatic as I am when you're <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> we did it no better feeling oh man i need to take a seat and go shower now sorry this is probably like the longest vlog ever and you know what i just realized i didn't even like hold up my arm after vacuuming cleaning all the counters cleaning the couch yada yada i remembered one of the things i wanted to do was like clean out our like clean the washer and dryer like the sides of it and the inside stuff but that's gonna have to wait until a later date your girl needs to sit <laughs> i've been going going i've been flying around my broomstick <laughs> okay ending up this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching love ya and i'll see you in my next video bye